this is uh this is advantageous all right torso twist there we go all right now thermals off now i switched the thermals mainly just so i could see the contrast if that timby poked out behind the cover sometimes the images you know the color palette of the the map it's difficult Hey, what's going on guys? Phil here and welcome back to another Mecha Online favorite build chassis review. We're going to be talking about the Crab today and this is the next one on the list and that list was selected uh, by my Twitch chat. So again, cannot stress if you've never been over here to Twitch, I highly recommend you do so. It's a great way to interact, ask questions live, just be a part of this amazing community. So if you haven't been over here, head over to twitch.tv forward slash NGNGTV. I stream Monday through Friday, 12 to 6 p.m. Eastern. Come hang out and of course, join us on Discord as well. I'll have that information down below. And of course, if you are new uh, and you like the videos, make sure to click that uh, subscribe button, maybe that little bell notification. There's only like, I think 65% of people that come and watch the videos here are subscribed and of course, like the video if you find this informative. All right, let's go ahead and jump into the crab. Let's talk about the crab in general. The crab across the board, I think is a great chassis. And in this case, we're gonna be talking about the 27 SL and that's specifically for one reason. It's got five energy, and the big reason, jump jets. This is a pretty compact little mech. And when it came out, I think it surprised quite a bit of people here. Uh, similar to like the Marauder one at the front profile here, you can see is really just squat. Uh, and uh, well, you can't really target the left right torso very easy, except for from the side. So that's actually a strength and weakness we'll talk about, which is what are the strengths and weaknesses? The strength is this is a squat little bulldog of a mech. It's got great quirks out there. And in this case with the SL, it allows you the maneuverability factor of jump jets. And that's really what sets it apart from like the 20. In my opinion, the SL is a step above. Again, you have five hard points on the 20, but five on this, which I can do five medium pulse with jump jets, good speed, maneuverability, firepower. And of course, with the speed also comes protection, right? So there are some things uh, with this. It does have the digi grade legs and that's the backward canted knee joint and all that. That is sort of a weakness in general because you've got a bigger target to be, if someone's aiming at your legs, it's easier to hit versus a humanoid. So there is that factor. Um, but outside of that, again, the arms aren't terribly huge. They're pretty proportional. It doesn't have anything crazy as far as, uh, you know, uh, uh, proportions except for the side profile. And that's probably the biggest weakness I would say is the side profile. When I see a crab, I straight, if I have a shot, I go straight for the left, right torso because some um, more often than not are running XLs. This is a very XL friendly chassis across the board. And of course you can use LFEs and standards on a few different situations. But let's go ahead and talk about this in the mech lab and showcase what I have here. Again, five medium pulse. We have a light 305, two jump jets, three double heat sinks in the torsos, two in the uh, engine. And as you can see here, we have Faro, a double and endo, and we're maxed. We have no more crit space whatsoever. 78 out of 78. Heat efficiency, as far as heat management, is at 1.36. And of course, that's uh, also factoring in jump jets. For those that didn't know, a little uh, PSA announcement, that number there is also... So really, just with the weapon systems, without even jump jetting, we're at 1.55. Anything above 1.3 is Gucci. Um, as far as, uh, you know, like, again, the, the strengths and weaknesses here, the strength of this is you now have the capability to tank a lot more. You can shield with your left or right torso if you need to, or if you're taking damage, uh, and then you still have the CT head mounts and then the individual medium pulse in the left, right arm. And that's pretty much it. You never have to worry about the claws opening up. They automatically open up when you fire, uh, similar to how the King Crab was done, uh, done. Overall, aesthetically, I really dug the chassis too. I think they did a great job at bringing an old design as far as the line art to work. So again, kudos to, uh, to the artwork uh, and team. So out of all the crabs, there are some runners up and the Florentine, the hero, I know a lot of people have asked, it's interesting, it's different, uh, but again, you're competing uh, as far as ballistic in the arms with the Enforcer. And the Enforcer, I think just does a better why because it has jump jets. So. 50 tonners are in a weird spot where they can't really do dual ballistics except for very light or medium and then you're sacrificing a lot of things. You're not going to have a whole lot there. So in the case of crab, I think this is the best crab out there and we're going to go a drop and showcase this and match, show you how I use it and maybe just maybe you'll find this to be a, a useful variant or maybe it's uh, one of your favorite variants already of the crab. 
And, uh, and if you haven't uh, bought it, maybe this will show you that maybe you do want to buy it. So let's go dive in here. All right, here we go on uh, another match with the crab here. And again, just sort of preface this, you're not always going to win all of your matches. Sometimes uh, matchmaker has it out for you. So you're not going to win everything. Um, but uh, yeah, let's go dive in here. This HPG uh, has completely changed. You have uh, the ability to snipe up on the walls. Uh, whether it's too strong or not, um, I usually hold my judgment for at least a month just because it takes a while to get used to. But the central location is just, it's so much different. And you have to watch your left, your right. And anyways, I find it quite dynamic. You can get in here and have some fun. So let's go just pay attention. Again, they can get up on the walls right there. I don't have any range to engage. So I'm just going to sort of be patient here. It's something that I feel like a lot of players have tend to forgotten to rush in. Watch for those UAVs because they will be posted. Uh, and again, as soon as you pop UAV early in the game, that's why I tend to just sort of wait. Wait till the engagement's going on and then you pop uh, the UAV. You do have to watch your back here, so just be aware of that. If you'll see anything initially. It doesn't mean something won't pop up, but uh, Arana's doing the right job so far. Nothing crazy here so again just watch that bridge check my six every once in a while good all right so here comes the targets within my range it's like they're right behind me yep, there they are. and he is all those legs that is a uh very leggy target engage oh, oh. so we got a target danger okay that's super close there it's a centurion i can tell just by the shape of its feet you know you played a lot when there you go. And utilize cover here. And there it is. Second one's right there. All right. Looks like they're dropping down. And swinging to our left. I say we push this guy right here. Let's go ahead and swing over here. I'm going to go ahead and pop UAV now. And put some pressure. Yep. There's a centurion. That guy's uh, legs. I'm going to go for his legs. Oh, yeah, you can look. And that's what I have to watch out for is the guys up on the ridge Target and also engaged. these guys over here are causing issues Target already engaged. i'm gonna go with support over here this way too i'm negating the firepower up on that wall they can't see down here again putting some pressure use those jump jets when applicable Target and we're engaged. gonna go for alpha as well that viper's already legged again i recognize those names at the very beginning when i saw them i figured they'd probably be working together there we go. And we have a UAV up there. Again, you can still see uh, they took down my UAV immediately, especially with those guys up on the wall. So we're just going to go ahead and slow down here, take aim. We only have 264, so we'll take two volleys. There we go. By the way, when shooting down UAVs, PSA, you'll know when you're aiming at them when you see a range. If you don't see a range indicator, you are not aiming at them. You're going to shoot past them. I think we have something below us. We have something over there as well. Yeah, there it is. This is where they can drop strikes right on your location. Let's see about a pop here. There we go. This guy's right leg is vulnerable. Gotta put a little bit of pressure there. Let's see if he backs up right there. Yep. By the way, the Incubus just got buffed, but it's not invincible. Again, if you know the weakness, like I do, because I've played that thing, take the leg, sweep the legs, sweep them. Then torso twist here. There we go. Stripped. He's got heavy larges. There we go. He's out. Okay. Let's go ahead and push up here. Again, being aggressive. And you do have that jump capability. There was something down here. Just want to be aware of that. Don't want to jump necessarily straight down. Watch my ledges. UAV over there. Again, if I can take any of these down, it helps me. It also might help a teammate. So looks like they do have some guys down below. So let's go ahead and see if we can take down that. There we go. Okay. So whatever that is, it's a stalker. I'm gonna push up to this white where this ice ferret is, because he's got ECM. He can give me cover. But Target speaking of which, I'm gonna go ahead and help out right here. There was someone else. Enemy there we go. There's one of them. Target engaged. Oh, shot in the back. What do I do? Alright, torso twist. Again, make sure to torso twist. Take that damage. Target engaged. Apply pressure when Applicable. We're going to switch to thermal here just so I can see him poking out here. He's falling back. His left right torso is open. This is, uh, this is advantageous. Alright, torso twist. There we 
we go. All right, now thermals off. Now I switched the thermals mainly just so I could see the contrast. If that Timby poked out behind the cover, sometimes the images, you know, the color palette of the, the map, it's difficult. So sometimes I don't run thermals all the time because again, sometimes you can't see stuff up here. So just sort of keep that in mind. That's what, use your tools accordingly. He popped UAV. Yeah, sneaky of that. Jump jet, see what he's trying to do there. He's sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. All right. 11-5, he's the last one alive. And it's up on the ridge, so let's go ahead and take down that UAV, shall we? And just sort of, you can see the range there. You'll get a infinity, if you will, range if you're not uh, spot on. And it looks like... Halfway there. Enemy mech detected. Oh, the target's over there. Never mind. I thought it was that stalker. He just died. So there's something over here in Echo 6. The crab does a fantastic job with being able to be pinpoint, quite mobile. And again, you're, if you're always facing your target, more often than not, you will take frontal damage left, right, torso. So this does have an LFE. Um, oh, let me try to get out of here. Let's see if they can go get him. 10. I don't think we'll get out of here in time. So they can hit 8 7. Oh, uh, no, it looks like we're going to win. Um, but the, the, utilizing the jump jets on this crab, especially the two, you got some good height here. But it's mainly there for, uh, you know, avoiding fall damage and being able to, when someone's shooting at you, you know, move around, getting up ab above obstacles, that stuff like that, Kenyan network and so forth and so on. So that was a good example of how to use the chassis speed and maneuverability, especially with the LFE, and then being able to go for targets of opportunity. So... Uh, again, let's go ahead and talk about this a little bit more. So that's the crab in action. Obviously, that match was relatively quick, uh, and you know sometimes you have prolonged engagements. So some drawbacks you probably notice. The first one being is range. You can only do so much with medium pulse lasers. Now, there's a few things you can do, of course, and we talked about those in previous videos. So let's go talk about the skills for this particular setup. Just like every other laser vomit setup, there's really a simple formula in the skill tree, and that is cooldown which increases your DPS, heat, right, which decreases the amount of heat generated by your weapons, and that's pretty much it. That's all you really have to worry about. So that's what we've done here. Across the board, we have range to help improve the medium pulse lasers, laser duration and cooldown help with DPS, heat dissipation allows you to fire more often. Now, keep in mind, heat gen is your weapon heat generation. Uh, it's separate from operations. And actually, you'll notice here, I don't actually have operations. I've actually focused solely on survivability here and weapons. And then, of course, I picked up 60% of radar deprivation. And that is basically so you can, uh, when you go behind cover, uh, you'll they'll lose lock on you a little bit uh, faster. So that's what that is. That's what ra radar deprivation is. And then one consumable for a UAV and cool shot. Why did I not go operations for a laser vomit setup? Because for the most part, this is a pretty uh, cool running setup, 1.36. And if you notice there, it really comes in burst, right? You're not always gonna be engaging nonstop. You have the extra range bonus. Now there's a few things you could technically do. You could drop a jump jet. You could uh, lower a bit of armor here and there and throw on something else as far as like a target comp, maybe for a little bit of a beam range boost, 3.5. But all generally, that's probably the weakest link as far as the overall weapon range of these setups. But the package is fantastic. The crab having the jump jet capability, you are compact. You've got all those armor quirks. It's just absolutely fantastic. Or in this case, structure quirks. All right, guys, that is going to be it for the crab, the 27 SL. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, click that like button. Let me know what your favorite crab is down below. If it is the 27 SL, are you running the five mini pulse laser setup as well? And just want to say thanks again for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Until next time.